Hello everyone and welcome to today's discussion. My name is Cassandra Vaynerchuk and this morning we're shifting gears a little and we're going to be discussing public relations. Public relations, a topic and discussion that is very important in today's society, especially when it comes to social media content creation and letting you know that each and every one of you who are producing or working for someone who's producing Social media content is in the business of public relations. It's, it's almost like you have a, uh, a degree in one and, and you have a, um, a minor in something else. Because every time a person you're working for posts on social media, there's an opportunity for the, the customers to turn on your content creator, which happens, is happening every single day. The beginning of public relations, has, it's been around forever. I mean, it's been around since the kings and queens. However, the title didn't come around, I think, until the 1900s. And they call Bernays the father of public relations. Public relations. A lot of people have a perceived notion of what public relations are. And we'll go in that, into that in just a moment. But I want to talk a moment about public relations and association to Bernays as an example of Bernays wanted to make breakfast. He wanted to, to tell people and the public that they wanted to have a heavier breakfast. And so if you're familiar with Eggs Benedict, Eggs Benedict has a Bernays sauce on it and it's a popular dish in America and he was trying to sell it to America. So Benedict Arnold, Eggs Benedict. Of course, there's all a story behind that, but we're not gonna go into that because obviously we don't wanna spend too much time on that topic, but you wanna understand that he convinced Americans to eat more meat at breakfast time. And there was a purpose behind what he wanted to expand on in a form of public relations. I mean, I could tell you one thing about eating meat for breakfast and you wouldn't believe it. The job of public relations is to tell you and convince you of, as to why it would be important to eat eggs benedict or meat for breakfast. Make sense? Which actually gives the person not a lot of opportunity to choose, but we're, let's continue. Now, there's a difference between marketing and public relations. Public relationships, public relations is focused on reputation as a general rule. This is the definition. Public relationships is based off of reputation and it's what people say about you, which then becomes reality. They try to build, to keep themselves in the positive light of the public, they try to build trust and confidence. So it's like, who is your community? Who is Who are you trying to deliver the message to? It's the who and the what. This is old, old days. Marketing is the person who is holding the brand. They're telling you about the image and the ad. It's like having ads. So do you see the difference between marketing and public relations in the old days? However, as we've expanded on internet, we've come to this realization that people are now using PR as branding and image, meaning they're telling you who they are. You're calling them out on who they are, but they're branding themselves in a marketing style to create trust and confidence in you. However, it's nothing more than convincing that's not grounded in ethics, morals, or values. It's selling you something. It's selling you themselves. So in re real life, marketing is someone having a brand and an image, which is a product. Whereas per public relationships is the reputation that's associated to you as the, the company. So for example, uh, Subway had a silly 
public relations concern where they said they were selling seven inch subs when the subs were six. And that one inch got people all riled up and mad. And so public relations had to step in and recreate trust and confidence associated to Subway because a, a company opposing Subway called them out on it. Obviously, we still see that Subway still open, so that's here, neither here nor there, but it's just a, a fact of educating you on what these companies are up to. Clever ways to try to close someone's business down. It's the game of the business, and that is the same thing that's happening on TikTok and social media platforms. So when you're looking at someone, you want to know that they are a... PR, they're PR, they're convincing you of, of ideas that aren't really true in the most horrific kinds of ways because underneath all of it, they're the ones that called Subway out on the six and a half inch and they rounded up to seven. Because that's generally what you do when you're at 50, 51%. They'll use journalism to build confidence. They'll look at consumer consumption and what people are saying, employees, social media, and mainstream media. So all these things go into play when someone's trying to create their public relationship, which is what? Creating a reality for the audience to build trust and confidence. However, none of these people are grounded in ethics, morals, and values. They have none. They wear bikini tops which means their brand and image is all lie while they're tr creating trust and confidence in you. Now you can look at this as a consumer or you can look at this as a public relations career. It, every single one in public relationships has had to sell themselves out to lie worse than politics. to protect an image or a brand because the, uh, the the mob squad of the masses, which is what we're seeing with The Rock and Oprah at this time, is disgusting. Meaning, let's give you an example of The Rock and Oprah. They're asking for donations to assist humanity, to assist these people when they're already giving millions of dollars. And the only thing that people can focus on is who do, you, who do you think you are? You have millions of dollars. These are people with 300,000 content followers, which means they have money too. But they're all under the age of 40. And they're looking for clout and they're looking to cancel culture someone who's a, who's a billionaire who built her life off hard work and, and, and labor. However, now they're recreating her reputation as someone who's greedy. Because she bought property in Maui and they read on some headline that she paid pennies on the dollar for land. And she said, this lady says, why don't you just give up your land? I mean, you want to understand that that's how people operate. And a public relations person uh, comes to the rescue of this conversation and changes the story and the narrative to show you the real truth or to hide the truth. So you want to take a look at both of those things. It's the, it's the, the, the organization of human thinking that makes the decision of whether you win or lose as, a, as a, an individual, which is crazy, isn't it? You can have the best intentions in the world, and then you can have a motivant in opposition to you. And then Mona Van will win because she's in with the right people, creating the right PR skills with people that she's hired in the business because she's got millions of dollars and no education. But that's another story, but you can get the picture of what I'm, I'm painting for you here. This whole thing is like a game of shit. It's drama upon drama upon drama, uh, exuding and cutting off facts. 
The fact is, is that Oprah Winfrey is requesting that you donate a, a dollar to help your own country. People, people don't think uh, Hawaii is their own country. Their own citizens. She's already giving millions. Rock's already giving millions. They are taking the time out of their day to assist their people so that land grabbers like these social media content creators, which is why they're going to the masses to say, don't donate. Don't help these people is what they're saying. They're Democrats. They're saying, don't help them because we want the oceanfront property. And that's public relations, relations in a way that's authentic and, and of integrity because that's the real truth of how the Democrats convince these people to try to cancel culture, The Rock and Oprah. So that's public relations. It's the game of business, but on blast. It's keeping your reputation in front of the eyes of others in a falsification or clean up. It's bullshit. On social media, we're taking a look at individuals who are not educated in public relations at all. They're not educated in humanity. They're not educated in ethics. They have no education. And they're in public relations of what is public relations? Get people to believe in values, beliefs, and behaviors as normal. That's what public relations is. Meaning it's basically training the minds of the masses into thinking that it's cool to film your child, which is what I've been talking to you about for some time now. And in re real time, you want to create authentic relationships with these folks and then interact with them in real time if you're a social media content creator. However, what they do instead is they bully the audience to get them to submit, which becomes the form of a dictatorship because their reputation is brand and image. Tons of people running around working in this specific sector of content creation. How am I going to say this so I occur this way while still acting as if I'm honest? Obama is very good at that. I mean, he's doing all sorts of evil things. He's telling you to your face and you're applauding him for it. Obamacare. There's a difference in sectors of public relations, such as we have sports, there's nonprofits, there's community, there's in-house, there's agencies, there's Hollywood, there's government. Um, there's sports, there's nonprofit, there's food. For example, back to the Bernays, trying to get people to eat more meat in the, at breakfast time. What's your agenda? Why are you, asking, why are you asking people to eat more meat? Are you trying to fuel the industry? Is that your job? Do you get paid for that? That's public relations. So there's the, the, the public relations to get people to do something, which is what everyone on TikTok there's the public relations to get people to like you. That's on TikTok. There's the public relations of how to maintain you, yourself as you did go viral. There's your government reputation because if no one likes you, they won't vote for you. There's the, the public relations of if, you're, if you know your opponent um, is a good person, you're a bad person. You take it at public relations to destroy someone's um, person. And that's what we're up to. Meaning public relations makes sense if you are up to the right things. Meaning if you're grounded in ethics, morals, and values. Meaning, for example, what I do with a lot of my content is I say, that's not what they're, that's not what they're trying to tell you. Meaning when I talk about Gary Vaynerchuk, that's not very good public relations when I've talked smack about him, is it? Yet he continues to post those videos and those, he goes on trips and shit with her. And that's not good for his reputation. However, everything's built off reputation. Little confusing, isn't it? But he's got the mind masses set in stone based on his public relations. 
his brand and image. You see how people are going to try to come in like Mona Van to rock the boat in a negative way to make him look like a shallow P.O.S. She is a shallow P.O.S. Piece of shit. So you want to take a look in public relations as a lesson to take a look at what brand opportunity looks like when you add in a piece of shit as your partner in crime. It's covering the truth or manipulating the truth. Meaning we're manipulating the minds of the masses while watching Gary Vaynerchuk and Mona Van operate with, within their sector or whatever they're, they're up to. Meanwhile, I'm over here opening up doors so you can see the truth. Public relations. Internet catastrophe. No education on her platform. Go look at her content, folks. Looks only take you so far. Public relations. Brand and image. Let me occur to you that you can trust in in confidence in who I am, but what really what I'm doing is I'm gutting you every time I every time you watch my video. Kids, I don't really give a shit about kids, but I am gonna try to get pregnant somehow from somebody so it looks like the image of Gary Vaynerchuk will be destroyed and he'll have to pay me child support. Bad example. Any woman out there who's with a Hollywood celebrity. That's your deal. I wonder how I'm going to have a kid with this dude so he can pay me $65,000 a month, which most people in this country do not even make that in a year. And then you're going to take it to the media. How embarrassing. Public relations. Now Kevin Costner's on blast. Meanwhile, she's sitting there high and mighty with her $30,000 per month. Because it's keeping up with the Kardashians when she hasn't worked a day in her life. Public relations for the person who has a job. No one gives a shit about that ex-wife of his. However, in public relations, he's got to walk in front of a camera and he has to say, well, it's sad when you, care, when you love someone and you have to go through this. You might be thinking about... he. The, the image is, is that it's the ex-wife, but the reality is it's the children. See, she doesn't care about the kids. She cares about the money and the, the club membership and the tennis match and the wine drinking that she does all day long. That's women in Hollywood. That's women in high-end high social-like communities in California and New York City. And now they're protruding it all upon the whole entire globe. Meaning that's the new norm for female because that's in front of our eyes everywhere. And you're, you're teaching us how to have value, beliefs, and behaviors. And you're accepting it because you're loving. You're loving. That's a contract. You love it. Contract. Love it. And then there's a, a, a draw in you when you're watching these videos to like it or love it or comment. Because that's the energy of, of the, the masses that's pulling public relations. If you're able to be seen by the correct, by real people, let's get real, quantities of people too. Which is another, another story for another video. There are perspectives in your public relations. Is that you have, and these, none of these people do any of this. None of these people understand it. They have no depth to them. They have nothing in, in mind except for, let me look. I want you to really understand this. They only care about how they occur and look. Kristen Cavallari is an example. Kim Kardashian is an example. They don't offer anything. They will offer nothing. Except for, how do I look? Look at my hair. Look at my plastic face. Look at my fancy clothes. Look at where I'm at in a fancy vacation. Let me take a couple pictures. Get over here, dude. Let me smile. 
and that's their whole public relations brand and image empty and then now tie a product into it make money then they occur as if you can trust them in confidence that's the lie public relations branding and marketing there's four things necessary to really have a valuable experience in life as a public and this is for the smallest person to the biggest is you need to research people you know it's like the getting curious about life getting curious about personalities meaning the smallest business you as a nurse you as a everything's public relations communication public relations well how do i handle a patient that won't take their medicine well, let me see what their public what public relations skill that I need to operate under here. Let me do a video on it to educate some other new nurse up and coming who actually cares about people and show them what I did to show them how to get their patient when they don't want to take their meds to take their meds. Programming. Consider that word right now, programming. Big ideas, tangible to ROI. Repetition, results. Repetition, results. That's brainwashing, programming. Look at how pretty I am. Look at how pretty I am. Look how pretty I am. Look how pretty I am. Look how sweet I am. Look how sweet I am. No fluctuation in personality. However, inside, they're dying inside. Look at how pretty I am. Look at how, listen to my voice and how fun I am and pretty I am and fun and pretty, 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 pretty. Look at my Prada bag. Look at my fancy outfit. That's all these women talk about. Look at me in my fancy pose. Look at me in my fancy dinner. Look at me in my fancy trip. Look at me in my fancy party. Look at me in my fancy, 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 fancy. You're not enough. You're not enough. Programming. Product sales. To, to be like me, to look like me, you must buy this. It's a shit product. People were abused in the making of it and you purchase it. And then you complain about it later on when you were duped from the beginning and you knew from the beginning. Public relations. Branding. That's the programming. What's our plan? What's our action plan? Well, this day we're gonna post this and this, 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 this calendar. More of the same, more of the same. Push product, push product, push brand, push brand. This is the brand. This is how I'm going to act. This is a script. This is a script. And like, it's unbelievable. Implementation is the action, which is the posting process. The posting process, time and money. How much money do you need to run an ad? How many people do you want to see this, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This organic reach bullshit that they, these folks are talking, that doesn't exist any longer. It's a lie. It was, it was truth in the early times of TikTok because they wanted to grow their brand. That was a strategy of implementation and programming. And then they saw in the research and development of it how you all fell for it. I told you all about this. Evaluation is the results of your work. Well, do we need to do cleanup? Did we effectively deliver the information? How do you ROI? You, you look at the numbers. Likes, follows, views. <laughs> if you want, how do you feel? Uh, what was the price increase? Or how, many, how much money did you make off of it? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All people please. This is all people pleasing here. There are distinctions in public relations. People focus, people focus, culture, dynamic, influence, value, beliefs, and behavior, which is essentially psychosis. So if you're working in a, in a, in a world of lies, psychosis, what's true, what's fake, what's true. Let me live linear or let me live multidimensional. Linear is where most of you live. You don't want to be bothered with it. 
but they want to bother you. Julia Roberts lived on a brand from the time she started working in Mystic Pizza or whatever movie that she was in. Must stay to the the brand. Don't don't alter from the brand. Always smile and look da 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 da. Your audience will love you. Doesn't get real transformation in people, but Julia Roberts gets to stay on top. She hates her fans and followers, but that's because she taught them how to treat her. A mass catastrophe because now we have twenty something year olds prostituting themselves like Haley Bieber. A talentless fool who has the paparazzi follow her. However, the paparazzi don't even, there's like no interest in her at all. They just kind of like humor her because she calls them and she probably pays them. Ethics are involved in public relations. However, there are no ethics. It's, it's do or die. We live in, they, this new generation goes, we live in a free country. Although what really happens is your customer becomes enslaved and chained and the free country is the, is the brand and the image. So Biden has put us in a, in a very big time predicament of creating a psychosis in this country because he's not a leader. He's a, he's a child. He's a 12 year old who wants money, power, and fame, which is what Obama wanted. He has no ethics. His son has no ethics. His son raised him. That means his son is just like the father, which means that we have an unethical, we're enslaved by our government, and he's fueling and supporting the enslavement of his people, especially since he's now have been, has invited migrants into this country and now is giving them work permits to take jobs away from the American people. They're all acting like that's a success. No, you're taking jobs away from the American people who don't have jobs. Because his idea is that all these people who are in their 20s are now social media content creators. Even today. But I can guarantee you in 20 years when their tits are sagging, they ain't going to be in the business. Probably sooner than that. Because PR is real and they will fuck up eventually. These people in public relations can make changes, big changes, like catastrophic changes. This whole ideal around uh, this lifestyle of what Gary is doing is a sh showing you what she did to V Friends for children. Meaning Gary dates a psychotic shallow, egotistical nonsense changes his whole business, changes 44 million people, that's public relations. Because his whole demeanor has shifted since she's been uh, uh, scrounging around. Like uh, All of her conversation associated to him is bad PR. Her showing up at VCon is bad PR. Bad. Because her 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 work doesn't represent V Friends at all. It's obvious. Shopping, hair, and makeup with no education, insecure, and shit content. Lies about everything. So now what we have to associate with Gary and Mona, Gary's like Mona because like attracts like. That's on you, dude. We're working here. When you're in like a real job of public relations, you're behind the scenes and you're able to see perspectives to kind of guide your, uh, if you're in ethics, that is, guide the ethics, morals, and values of a business, an industry. But that's not going on here. People just doing whatever they want. You're essentially, you're representing the public. 
You're representing your age group. You're representing whether you have curly hair. You're re like people will associate to people that are like you in real life that they will think that you're like them because you you have common similarities about you and that person. That's public relations. So meanwhile, you're greedy, you're psychotic, you're you're unethical. You're you're building your own brand for selfish egotistical reasons. Because every person on, the, on these platforms is building a brand. Even the most disgusting, vile creature who's copying Blake Shelton. You know, with a fraud account. Meaning those people have no protection, but we have no protection from them either. The, the truth is, is that the, the, the opportunity was here to, to share the truth. However, more people showed up lying, more people showed up lying, more people showed up lying, 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 with no ethics and a parental system that accepted it as truth. Just hiding away in the background, not taking initiative to say that doesn't work for us. There's more people that are over the age of 40 than there are between the ages of 20 and 40. However, those folks who are psychotic, unethical, sexual seduction psychotics, porn activists, calling out freedom, I'll do whatever I want. There are two genders. The government allowed those people to lead. And don't forget the people that are uh, slimy between the ages of 40 and higher, who are the perverts watching your children. That's what Monavan created. Predators, pedophiles, that's what Monavan created. V friends, you're creating pedophiles by her showing up in those outfits. However, all she sees is those men that are roaming the property that are greedy and money hungry for a, a brand building off of children's backs. Instead of taking a look at what V Friends actually is for children. I Meaning, I'm going to tell you right now in a public relations uh, perspective, your cartoons were horrific. You really need to take a look back and take a look and evaluate your cartoons. And I'm letting you know all of them are self-centered, dark, seven deadly sins representing the staff that you have on, on file there. Um, when it comes to public relations, every sector of public relations is a different perspective and multidimensional form. Government versus community versus in-house versus agency versus Hollywood versus sports. There's ways that you operate within those organizations to assist, like to assist growing their brand to get people to like them. I Meaning y'all actually as an audience have to get people to, you have to, we have to get you to like us because you're that shut down. Well, what are you going to give me? Well, what are you going to give me? Well, what are you going to give me? What are you going to give me? Well, I'm going to give you some really fucking valuable information. You son of a bitch. I'm going to actually give you something of value, which is education, you son of a bitch. Instead of running your mouth behind my back, behind my back around town with socialites so you can look cool with a bunch of people you don't even like. And that's for all you motherfuckers at these motherfucking parties that y'all attended at this weekend. We're in Labor Day weekend if you're all uh, are following along in the feed. Meaning what used to be an enjoyable time for a nation to relax, it's now a time of psychosis so that the fuckers who are on these platforms 
can show off their fancy vacations can show us how cool they are in fancy clothes and fancy parties in fancy pictures to fuel a brand and an image. So while you make all of America feel bad, you then make them feel better by selling them a product to fill up their holes while you talk about not filling up holes. And that's for each and every one of you motherfuckers on the platform who's selling sex, selling seduction, selling titties, selling clothes, whatever you selling, you sure as hell ain't selling no ethics, morals, and values. And you're recreating that version of family, which is disgusting. You do get that, right? That's how self-centered you are. Meaning if you're the man standing next to the woman carrying a little boy in a suit in 90 degree weather, you ain't a man. You ain't grounded in nothing but your career. And that's laughable. And he's just one representative of millions of other men out there who married a prostitute, called her his wife, and started paying her to be the prostitute. Meanwhile, she's abusing your kids and calling the nanny. Public relations now moves into family. Y'all are not up to nothing on any of these platforms. I'm going to tell you that right now. You have no ethics, morals, or values. You've recreated this country to be the worst country on the globe. You've created a Persian as your leader, Gary Vaynerchuk. And you still don't have the balls to speak the truth. No, I haven't heard words out your mouth. Meaning I'm running around creating the best content in the freaking planet while you running around skirting with some hoe. And you can say all day, me, 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 me. I do not care because the next phase of this public relations is a divorce online in front of millions. And the kind that actually deserves a spotlight. Public relations. My content will go viral and I will expose you, Mona Van and Kim Kardashian. And I'll be sitting in front of the Today Show cameras talking shit to your face. Telling this country how you Armenian, you Persian bitch, try to fuck us over. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Donald Trump is our president. You in, the, in this country who are politicians, I'm coming for you too. My name is Cassandra. I want to say thank you for joining me today in this podcast in public relations. Letting you know that public relations is nothing more than manipulation. Honest manipulation of gaming versus psychosis that doesn't allow people to create their own ideas. That's ran by unethical individuals who will sell you out in a heartbeat to fuel their money bag so that they can look cool in their industry. The authentic bullshit that these people putting out is nothing more than lies. 